and so if you guys if you guys have seen my past video the part one of bird's eye perspective this is part two of bird's eye perspective and now we're going to go with a more dynamic view of bird's eye perspective and so for this we have again this is we're going to just do a quick recap and so this would be the full circle of the cylinder full circle of the cylinder right here okay bird's eye view full circle intensity like uh and then intensity is increasing here intensity starts to decrease near the top so we're going to do that as a live example here i'm going to show you you know there's a line here i'm going to show you this line here so full circle intensity and then we rotate and then we see that line well it's almost a line okay let me see that line here okay no it's not fully aligned but it's almost a line a straight line almost a straight line so and you also may have noticed that uh i've been drawing my my torso looking kind of like an oval. okay so this would be the top of the torso you know the, yeah this would be the top of the torso so i would draw my torso as looking like the, uh, the top of an oval and this is my uh my sharpener right here and so this would be considered a an unnatural cylinder if you don't know what that is so check out my understanding cylinder so that you understand the difference between natural and natural cylinders this terminology that i use myself to understand these concepts and so this would be kind of like a natural cylinder. this would be an unnatural cylinder because this is naturally a perfect circle this isn't okay and you know again as you rotate this this kind of turns into, this turns into an eclipse and this is already naturally an eclipse so it kind of, it looks kind of similar okay it looks kind of similar if you were to draw it all right so however remember that this is the original shape okay so this is an unnatural cylinder and so since this is the original shape it's it's also it can also do the same thing you know taper until you see that straight line okay so this would be considered the full circle and we're going to just use a full circle for this because i know it's not an oval but we'll just use full circle because you understand the full circle concept from the the other the uh what i said before all right so this this is how i would draw my my the top of the torso okay and this would be a little bit more fatter and something else to keep in mind that remember when i mentioned that uh things things are tapering if you're looking at it from an ant's eye view and if you're looking at it from a bird's eye view things are tapering from below now keep in mind that the tapering the things that are tapering this is where your vanishing point is located okay your vanishing point will be located somewhere here okay so yeah your vanishing point will be located somewhere up here as these lines are meeting that vanishing point okay the vanishing point is the reason of the taper okay so the vanishing point is usually always away from us it's away from us so if, if you're if you're an ant looking from above it's away from that ant the vanishing point is away from that ant okay it's always away it's out there not close to us it's away from us okay and so we're an ant and that vanishing point is away from us okay we were looking at it from a bird's eye view that vanishing point is away from that bird okay the, the bird is up in the sky okay it's not close down here this is where the vanishing point is located okay the ant is down here it's not up in the sky this is where the vanishing point is located okay if you can see that but vanishing point and things taper so things are away from the vanishing point and so on this sample this would be a example of a bird's eye perspective for this human form and so again the, the bird is on top and the vanishing point is located on the bottom things get less in the vanishing point and things start to increase more towards the top all right uh and as you can see there's another vanishing point located uh to the side and this is where where you start to get the dynamic this is where you put dynamic in bird's eye view and or any other other, other type kind of view a dynamic view tends to have a, another another vanishing point located to located like outside all right and so in this example like i said before bird's eye view the vanishing point is right here and things start to increase for the bird because the bird is looking down at the vanishing point the vanishing point is always away from us you know and right here the vanishing point is always away from us so we're looking up you know and so 
for this, you know, this this is a bird's eye view, and because of because the human, because the human is turning, the human is turning to to our right here. The human is turning to our right. Uh, the vanishing point right here is now activated, and thing you, you can start to see that how. Uh, these two uh, circles here where the, the shoulders are they're getting pulled they're getting pulled on like strings all right and remember things are things show a lot less in the vantage point so you start to see a lot less information okay so there's a lot less information here there's more information here as things start to increase more there's less information here so you don't get the head is covering that portion of the uh, of the uh, trapezius right here but it's not covering this portion because it's showing more all right so remember less and then this this is more yeah, you can even visually see it less and then more you know less and then more and it's like pulling it like a string so this would be like uh the bird's eye view here you know so this would be a, the uh bird's eye view you know it's following that vanishing point and it's going and it's tapering downward all right tapering downward and then there's a second vanishing point for what wherever that position is uh wherever that position is turning which is uh right here and keep in mind that we humans we're, we're we are three-dimensional creatures okay we're seeing three three dimensionally so we're always occupying some kind of three-dimensional space okay and so where these we we are, we are already occupying one three-dimensional view so there's only two dimensionals to there's only two two vanishing point two dimensions to look at okay we, we are already occupying one all right and so since we're already occupying one and this is again 3d we are three-dimensional creatures this is one point of dimension and this is a second point of dimension where's the third point of dimension the third point of point of dimension is where we are looking at okay and we are looking at at it from a bird's eye kind of view and also as i said before you, you see how this is it looks like the top of the torso is like a, an unnatural cylinder kind of like how this this top of the uh sharpener is uh now everything is starting to taper and you start to see things uh shrinking dynamically and this leg here this leg here that you see here will originate right here from the pack just due to how how much the intensity is being pulled you know when it comes to perspective so this leg here would originate a little bit on top from the uh, from the pack here and this this is where it would end somewhere near on top of the knee okay the air is within that full circle Okay, if we're looking at it from a dynamic, a super dynamic view, all right, and again, less and then more. You can even see it. It's like a, a, an alligator bite, you know. No, the, the greater than and, and less than signs in math, you know, less than and, and then more. Okay, the vanishing point is always away from us. Okay, so if we're looking at it from a bird's eye perspective, it is away from the bird. If it was an ant, it would be away from the ant. It's away. Okay, and so since since that that's happening, since it's away from us, there's a lot less happening in that direction. So it becomes less, and then as it expands, it becomes more. Because we're we're a bird, the uh, this perspective is away from us. Okay, and we're looking at it from above, so it's away, and things are becoming more. You know, things are sh shrinking less, and things are becoming more. Okay, and also whatever direction this human is facing or an object is facing is going to activate an extra vanishing point all right so this is this extra vanishing point is going to make your drawings more dynamic all right so if this this human this human is facing right or i mean or left left is facing left if this human is facing left then there's going to be a different vanishing point right here which is going to uh take in everything as if it were a string okay as, as, if, as if it were pulling or pulling something like a string okay so the so these would align to this second vanishing point okay this would make your drawing a lot more dynamic and a, more extreme when you have a second vanishing point there is no uh, there's there's no third vanishing point you know because this this 
this vantage point here isn't activated because this human is turning this direction all right and also we're occupying a 3d space and so we're just looking at it from like 3d so we're just looking at two two different points we're already occupying one space of 3d and so remember less and then things become more and then less and then things become more when it comes to bird's eye all right so remember that this is a this is a more dynamic a more dynamic tutorial so be sure to watch the other parts of, of the other uh the uh, prerequisites the other parts all right and so since we're looking at it from this direction i know and remember how this this portion of the uh, shoulder was popping out you know that's because we we're looking at it like kind of directly above it but right here we're looking at, at it above it and we're also looking at looking at it from the side so this face is going to be covering the circle here so we're just going to be left with a circle like this we're just going to be left with this circle so here's a much more clear example of the two shoulders here and so this face is going to be blocking the the uh, shoulder right here if we're doing it drawing it from this perspective i remember less in increased information is shown increased information is shown and more overlaps the head is overlapping the uh this uh, shoulder here so there's an increase because there's an overlap okay remember that overlaps and and then it's like it's pulling it like a string and you started to see more information here on this side all right but once you uh, you, you draw it uh, enough times you'll you'll understand because now you understand how this how this stuff works logically. Now that you understand it logically, now you can just draw and practice, and then you'll eventually improve, and then you'll eventually be able to do this without, you know, using any references or. And so that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, peace out. And also, if you have any other recommendations, I'm I'm open. So leave so in the comments below. So yeah, peace.